Welcome to the SEP tutorial series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to combine information from different survey units using identifiers and pointers. Identifiers uniquely identify particular survey units. In the case of the SEP, survey units are either households or individuals. The primary identifier on the household level is the current household ID, HID. The primary identifier at the individual level is the personal ID, PID. In addition to the current household ID, we also report the original household ID, CID. It indicates the first household to which the individual households in the SEP can be traced. Even if the person moves into a new household, the CID never changes. In this case, the household receives a new household number. HID and CID can be used to trace individuals' panel history through different households. All datasets on the individual level contain both PID and HID, so they identify individuals nested within households. This information can be used to merge household level data such as household income with data on individuals within the household. Since the SEP has a panel structure, the survey year is also needed to identify observations of particular survey units in particular years. Our interviewers have an interviewer ID. It can be found in the H, HL and HBRTO dataset. Combining information on interviewers, which is stored in the interview dataset, with the information collected in interviews or non-response patterns can be used for survey research. Finally, the VP dataset on deceased persons uses the deceased person identifier VPID. The person who provided the information about the deceased person is identified using the normal PID. Besides these identifiers, selected datasets also contain pointers. Pointers can be used to combine information on one person with information on another person. Essentially, pointers contain the individual identifiers for other people in the dataset. Let me show you which pointers we provide and where you can find them. The person you are focusing on in your research, in other words, the person for whom you are measuring the dependent variable, is identified via the PID. You can then use the pointer to merge information on other individuals which might be related to your outcome. The pointer to a person's partner in each particular year is the partner ID, par ID. It can be found in PPath L. Information on children can be merged using the pointers to each child's individual ID called kid number, which you find in the BioBirth dataset. This dataset contains pointers to all children of every mother. Unfortunately, such a dataset does not exist for fathers, as we only observe social but not biological fathers in the SEP. If your main interest is in underage children and you want to add information about the child's mother or father as explanatory variables, you can find pointers through the mother and her spouse or partner in the kid L file. The respective pointers are called kpmom for the mother and kpmom p for the partner of the mother. For children aged 17 and above and also for all adults, you find pointers to their parents' IDs in the bioparent file. The pointer MNR contains the mother's ID and the FNR pointer contains the ID of the partner of the mother. We also provide pointers to siblings' IDs. The pointer SIPPNR can be found in the BioSIP dataset. For twins, triplets and the few quadruplets in the SEP, you will find pointers in the BioTwin dataset. The pointers are called PNR Twin, PNR Trip and PNR Quad. Let's briefly clarify how these pointers are used. Once you have added the pointer to your dataset, you can create an auxiliary dataset that contains the individuals you would like to obtain information on. In this dataset, you rename the PID to have the same name as the pointer variable in your main dataset. Then you can merge the required explanatory variables to your main dataset using both the add pointer variable and the survey year. As the precise process will depend on the software you are using, I will not go into further detail here. Thanks for listening.